how to make a slider in WordPress using a free plugin. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we'll be taking a look at how you can get started with creating your own WordPress website and beautifying it with sliders using this free plugin. So let's get into it. Now, Depicta is a platform that enables you to create professional websites. They have templates as well. They have a bunch of different options and they definitely are amazing in terms of, you know, drag and drop editors that you can use on WordPress. And you can add a very amazing and gorgeous looking slider using their free plugin. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you want to do is head on over to your WordPress dashboard. This is a empty website that I have created just to show you guys how we are going to set it up. So what we're going to do is we are just going to create a new page so I can sample you the sliders. I don't want the focus to be on anything else. So the first thing you want to do is click on plugins on the bottom left and you will find add new. You're just going to do that. And on the right side of your screen, you're just going to search for Depictor. Once you search for Depictor over here, you'll be able to see this first plugin. It's called Depictor Slider, Responsive Image Slider. So we are just installing the slider over here. And once this has been completed, you're just going to click on Activate. Once we click on Activate, we will be able to see it over here in our installed plugins and you will be able to see all the details and you will be able to also see it on the left side of your screen. So we're going to click on Depictor over here. And now, just like that, you have a basic little home page where you can just click on Create Slider. And you can create a blank slider. You can even take one of these templates that are available uh, to you. So let's say I want to use a template. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, maybe I'm looking for, you know, like a, I'm trying to build a clothing store and I want to try out sliders for a clothing store. So I will take this slider over here or any of the other ones. There are a bunch of different options to choose from. So I think I'm going to go with this one. Or maybe I'm going to go into the shop category. I think I'm going to do this one. So I'm going to click on import. And you can preview these before you import them as well. But we're just going to import this template. So I'm just going to proceed to editor. Just like that. And you guys can see this is the slider. I can add next slide, next slide, so on and so forth. And you also have your basic editor. So on the left side of your screen, you can add more text. You can add videos, shapes, vectors, buttons, controls. And let's say that I want to edit this. So due to an error, I'm just importing my template once more. I think I had some error with it. So I'm just going to proceed to my editor and we're going to start editing. We can see our text over here and we can just select it. And then maybe I want to add a special offer for Thanksgiving or Easter, like so. So I can add that. And then I have this little section over here and I'm going to remove this as well. And then I can remove this image and then I can go into the images section and add my own images that might be more relevant. So we're just going to add this. We're going to wait for this to load completely and you can, you know, place it however you want. We're just going to look for another image. I think I'm going to go with this one like so and then I'm going to send it backward like so so this you know pops up and then we have the next slider so we can click on over here to do the next slide and you can change these slides however you want you can add your own products you will link to your own buttons as well so all these buy now buttons you see once you click on that you can see you have your opacity, you have all these settings, then you have the options uh, where this button should lead to. So you can link your element and you're actually going to link your own uh, your own WordPress site where you have your product. So you're going to link that page. Then you have your hover effects, animations, actions where you can all edit the appearance. Once you are completed, so once you think everything looks good, you're simply going to click on publish on the top right. And then you have the short code. And you can paste this shortcode into your posts or pages or the PHP code and you can paste that PHP into the themes file. Now, doing it into the themes file is a little difficult. The shortcode is a lot simpler. So you're just going to publish changes and you're going to copy the shortcode that you have. And I'm going to show you how you're going to add the slider into your pages. So we're just waiting for our changes to be completed and we can copy the link from here. Now going into our WordPress dashboard, 
we can open up our site click on edit site and we're going to continue to our site over here and in your site editor you will see on the top left you have your patterns and blocks and from here you're just going to add code this code block you're going to drag and drop it wherever you want your code to appear and then you're going to paste that short code over here click on save click on save once more and your site will be updated and the uh, slider will appear on your site so we're going to go back and just do a double check currently our short code is not executing so i'm going to go back into my short code and we're going to make sure that everything is working well over here so i'm just going to copy the short code once more and i'm going to go and add it to a different page just so we can double check we have all pages section we have our tutorial page and in my tutorial page i'm going to click on view i'm going to open up a view in the new tab and click on edit and i'm going to edit the tutorial page and from here i'm going to add a block so i'm going to add this and instead of using the code one i'm going to actually scroll down and i'm going to look for short code specifically so i found short code over here i'm going to drag and drop this a block like so and then I'm going to paste my short code, click on update. And once our page is updated, I'm going to click on view page. And you guys can see amazing little slider is now ready. So this is how simple and easy it is to create your own slider on WordPress. You don't need to pay for any fancy tools, nor do you need any premium, you know, premium subscriptions it's simple easy and you know even you might be wondering hey even depictor has a premium version but you can really create gorgeous looking sliders even for free so you really don't need the premium version so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these methods and techniques that i showed in this video and if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like. And if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below. And I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you have any details that you might want to know any suggestions any improvements that you think that i could add on to these videos then please do leave them in the comment box down below and i will make future videos according to those and if you have any specific topics that you look forward to also leave those in the comment box down below and I will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing I will try to figure out a way to an uh, integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video